to have taken the liberty to show you how I have created my sub-D form. I uh, hope I'm not overstepping. So I've started off with a simple plane that I've subdivided and I'm in phase mode, not in sub-D mode or cut more no clock mode right now. Then, and in my item list you see that I have a construction history, I always keep a construction history, so I started off with that plane. Then I've subdivided it a couple of times, then I've copied that first plane, pasted it over here, flipped it and bridged it. So that is what I have now. Then in the next step I've added some loops. And with an element action center, I've placed my widget over here and scaled in X. So that's, that is my next, next shape. Then added again a couple of loops because these are points that need to be sharp and then I've beveled these, so that's when I go to Catmull Clark, so shift tab, you see that those inner edges now hold their shape. When I go to this shading style, you see that because of those extra edge loops around, now those edges hold and then for this I've done the same, so when I go to face mode I added a couple of edge loops Oops, sorry about that and then beveled these so that when I go to Catmo Clark those edges stay nice and crisp So this might be a possible workflow. So you could start off in different ways. You could box model, you can start, of course start with a different shape. It all depends on your own decisions, but I hope you found it useful. Bye!